Better Late Than Never with a monthly favorite song. I can't remember if I did one last uh, month or April, but now this is my May favorite, so let's get on with it. My first favorite is this. This is the NYX blush in top, the old packaging, obviously, as you can see. I had forgotten how much I love this contour pa uh, yeah, blush. It is so good. As you can see, the a glass or well, plastic as it is it has fallen off and it's actually quite broken and but anyway it is so good I, I don't use a lot of it when I'm when I'm applying it to my face but it is oh, has such a nice color and I'm wearing it today for my contour so I uh, just if you use too much of it it can look muddy but just a little bit and you have a nice contour I mm, love this blush I can't wait till I, uh, till till the day I've you, I have um, used this up so I can go over to the new formula because it actually looks a little bit better than this one. But when you go back to an oldie but a goodie, then it's like, where have you been? Uh, and I have forgotten how much I loved it. It is so good. Another fa an old favorite of mine that I had to go back to because I used another one up is this. This is the Maybelline. Fit Me Concealer in number 15 Fair. I used my NYX HD um, um, concealer up and I had to go back to this one and have forgotten how much I love this. So creamy and smooth and oh, so good. Uh, now I haven't tried, what is it, the, the NARS Creamy Concealer, but some, what I've heard from many other YouTubers, it's, they say that this is a good runner up, a good dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. So. Can I take their word for it? I just know this is a good one. This is a good concealer. I'm wearing it today. I'm trying to, yeah, use it up. So yeah, this I love it so much. I I can't I can't get enough of the Fit Me range. It is so good. I love it. Then another old favorite that I came back that I went back to. I just wanted a coral blush. I didn't want to use my coral. Least the ones I remember. I had this one from Elf. The in candid coral. I love it. It's so stunning. It is so stunning. I'm gonna make a little bit of a swatch. Oh, this is mm, this is so good. Maybe I should make it a bit more with a big high impact. There it is. Oh, this is such a great blush. I love it. it. Has that coral color, but also with a golden sheen to it. it that is perfect coral and you know we all know with elf it's an affordable brand you can buy it online and sell oh, in at the drugstores or whatever wherever you may can buy it i just love this blush i've forgotten how much i love it the, the elf blushes are so good they have a good yeah good payoff and yeah they just give that amount of color that you want and they also have a little bit of a yeah highlight to them i'm wearing it today and it's just, I mm, love this blush, only about a goodie, and it still works. And then for the month of May, I also been loving this, my Urban Decay Naked Original Palette. Love this baby so much. I can't get enough of it. There we go, all the gorgeous colors that uh, you may have seen my monthly look of May. I've used, I uh, used Smock primarily through the month of May. I just... I, I went around whether it was sidecar or it was sin or half baked, but then when I put on smog in, in May, then I was just like, you're my color of May. Love this color. It is so gorgeous. Clean finger. And bam, it's such a, an antique gold color. It has that, yeah, it has a bit of a darkness to it, but still the golden color is so gorgeous. Love, 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 love smog. It's so gorgeous. Maybe it's even good as a little bit of an eyeliner on the top lash line. Maybe. That should be tried. I just love this palette so much. And I can't wait to get my hands on the new Naked Heat palette because I'm all about those warm colors and yeah, reddish tones. It's just like that. It's the terracotta colors. It's just like my Spanish blood is speeding into me. Just saying, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. I can't wait to get it. And then for my final makeup highlight, this uh, makeup highlight, makeup favorite, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Ibiza, or Ibiza, whatever you want to call it. It's such a lovely, corally color. It may look a bit bright on camera, but once it dries down or you blot it on, on your lips, oh my god, it's so stunning. Mm. 
loved it throughout the month of May. It is so gorgeous and it's just cream summer vacation. It's a little bit, yeah, it has a little bit of pinkness to it, but also the red one, color. It's a coral. I love it. Oh, it was when I, I remember when I swatched it at the store, I was like, you're coming home with me because that you're a coral and I love corals. Oh, I can't get enough corals. Oh, just love this baby so much. I love NYX. It's, I love that we've gotten it in Denmark finally. It is so good. I love this color. Oh, I love these soft matte lip creams so much. I need to get them all. Gotta catch them all as they say in Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, these soft matte lip creams, they're so great. Just remember to put on a lip balm and then blot a little bit off top and then you have, and then put this on and then you have good looking lips all day. Yeah, most of the time. But this is just, mm. One of my favorites, I love it. Now we go over to a music favorite. Now I'm taking over my phone because I have this. I have been obsessed with a new album from It's Sharon um, Divide. I love that album so much. Let me just see, let me see, let me see. Got it right here, top broke, obviously. Now we're not gonna play though because then I will get in trouble for copyright issues. We can't have that. Now, besides the obvious favorites that I have, Castle on the Hill, Share With You, Galway Girl, I love um, um, Perfect, and I love Barcelona, and Bibi, uh, Yabi Ye Ye, <laughs> there was, and Nancy Mulligan. I have been loving these tunes, especially when it comes to Barcelona and Bibi Yabi Ye Ye. Barcelona, okay, we go to, we go there to Spain, uh, Portugal, wh wherever it is, like my, my geography is not geography is not that good. And then then we go to Africa, mm, and we have that southern tunes. I have a feeling that Barcelona and Bibiabiaya will be the summer tunes for for 2017 because they are so it's summery. It's it's just like mm, they're so good those two tunes. And Nancy Mulligan is just a great tune. Love them. Just, oh, the, there it is. And yeah, perfect. It's, it's like, here is this guy telling me that he loves everything about me ex and all my imperfections. It's, it's such a great tune, perfect. You're perfect in every way you are. Oh, great. Uh, it's just a, it's a great album. Uh, yeah. What, what has he even... Well, let me see. He has made Plus, Divided, uh, Multiply, and now we just need Minus. <laughs> Whenever that's coming, because I believe it, it will be called Minus. But it is so, it's such a great album. If you haven't checked out or listened to Divide It, Divide, then do it. It is such a great album by Ed Sheeran. I love it. And that's it for my favorites of May. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. So remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video if you liked it. It really helps me a lot. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on my blog. And then I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.